And I imagine it's because of the blackberries here. My kid took his tractor with that de-rooter thing and brought it in here and scooped up some of this stuff. And of course there's blackberries again, just as thick as can be. This here is not in bloom right yet. But this is my wild rose that grows wild around here. And you want to talk about a fragrant rose. Oh my lord. And you can see that usually has quite a few blooms on it. It's not blooming right now. It looks like it already bloomed this year, but that blackberry. I know in some places people can't get blackberries to grow. Here, oh my lord, yes. And of course right there is the morning glory climbing up it too. I mowed this little field all down just to make it look, make it look pretty because it is in front of the house. Sweet gum tree. I planted all these in here. Besides the nice leaves, which are the very last ones to fall off the tree. In fact, they'll be in here clear through November and January, some of these leaves. That's the only bad part about it. But originally I got it because the bark on it was really rough and unique looking. Blue spruce, it was almost dead when I got it from the nursery and he gave it to me. And you can see the deadness inside it. That could be a spider mite. But what can you do, I guess? All that new foliage, nice blue color. This tree was given away on tree day, where they call it. That was from McDonald's years ago. I think this is called a sequoia. I don't remember, I think we got that from the fair one year. And look how big that thing is now. And that there is always considered my monster tree. It's some kind of a weeper. But it's pretty because it's very unique. So in here, I planted a knockout rose. And I put a lot of asparagus in here. But my son doesn't like, like asparagus. So he loves rhubarb. So he planted one there and one over here. Of course, you can see the morning glory again. But the root or the asparagus is still in here. And his girlfriend likes asparagus so I imagine she comes in and picks it but they've been gone so that one's getting carried away and I'm not really supposed to have asparagus here I didn't get this picked up I'm not gonna anyway this here look how beautiful it is oh, the hummingbirds around here somewhere I hear them Anyway, I'm going to take starts off of this and see if I can get it to root. This here bush is a minimum, well, let's see, counting the very tip, I would say it's 10 foot tall, really spread out. Just like the snowball bush, how big it is, normally they don't get that big. This is a mock orange. And you want to talk about another fantastic smell. Maybe the giddy. Maybe the giddy giddy giddy. Maybe the giddy 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 giddy. Mama kitty. Yeah. 
And let's see here. There used to be red hot pokers in here. I don't know if my kid brought that machine in here and ripped them out or they got choked out because of all these weeds. And this used to be the wood shed because we used to burn wood in here in the house and now it's just kind of a storage and I built this just to make it drier getting to uh, the back door in which uh, of course it's a kind of a collect all to keep things dry my son decided he wanted his own shop back when I lived here so he put that right in front of the garage which whatever as long as we can still get through with the hay wagon or whatever Here's his dump truck that he bought. He's been rebuilding the bed on it. And he's talking about he needs to rebuild the motor in it. A new lawn sweeper. I bought my son for an early birthday present because the other one died. A lawnmower. I must have ran over a nail. I got a flat tire. Good thing I'm done. I'm getting ready to go home. Let me tell you what. There's one excellent lawnmower. It's like, like riding a bucking bronco. It, it'll mow anything and it'll whip you off there if you're not careful. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't. This is some kind of a. Oh, I don't know if you call it a hedge or what, but it's a taller one. You can see it's got flowers in there. And realistically, I don't really smell that much on them. But it's nice having these spots that will say, like say, hides, hides your place from the neighbors a little bit. Such as the neighbors just right over there. More blackberries. The trailer my son's trying to fix up, putting in a new floor. The poor old uh, lawn sweeper, it's got many years on it. And of course, I've fixed it many times, but it's so rusted, it's just not worth fixing anymore. Oh, hello, Pizzy. My giddy. My giddy. My busy giddy, 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 giddy. And that's about the tour of the place and kind of show you, showing you what I normally do around here. This here, I used to keep it really nice when I lived here. And then, of course, my son, he's a boy. He set that bed in here to a truck. He's got his canopy sitting on top of it. There's a rear end in here and some metal. All this used to be beautiful lawn. Well, what can I say is all I got to say. Oh, and I got something to show you here. Let's see. This is my, what are they called? The Fuji pear apple. This is a golden plum. And I don't know it was just too many suckers coming off it or what it only has a few plums I noticed on it which I don't like them fresh but these are delicious to uh, take them and uh, dry them dehydrate them and over here are my they look like blackberries they're not the wild ones but these are have been crossed with a raspberry so they they have that flavor of a black berry raspberry flavor to it, and I planted a hedge of them in here. Of course, they kind of need weeded out, but whatever. And this is the accidental tree I bought. I was buying a cherry tree, and I didn't realize that it had four different varieties on it. Well, the only one I know for sure is this one here is the uh, pie cherry 
I think these are Queen Anne, but no one knew they were out here going, and so they're all splitting. And so I'm just letting the birds have them. There's a few of them that aren't split, and I've had a few of them, and they, they are delicious. And then this trunk here is still alive down below, and some of it, but the top of it died out. And these red maple, I don't know the exact name of them. Uh, I used to deal with nurseries and whatnot. And so I got one, two, three, and there were four, but I dug one of them up and I put it over there. And here is my smoke bush. This doesn't look too happy. Because normally these are real furry and whatnot, but they don't look like they're happy. And then I had this uh, tank, I guess we'll call it. And I put some goldfish in there. And the goldfish are still in there. A uh, kid doesn't ever feed them, but uh, they, I know there's a bunch of babies that were always being hatched in there and whatnot. They used to have that thing running with the water. And you can see the blackberries all over the top of it and the side and whatnot. With the look of the farm. That's where we put crash when we need to go somewhere so he can stay outside or be in the little building and there's a heat lamp in there in case it gets cold. And every once in a while we turn the cows loose in here so we don't have to mow it, they come in and eat it down. But normally Crash doesn't go inside, or he stays inside all the time. Isn't that beautiful? This fence panel is put in here to try to get that rose, it's a climber, to come across it. And it needs to be trained to go across it. I just put that branch there in through the wire. But that there is another, as you can see the park over there, uh, something to hide, we'll say, this stuff over here, even there wasn't much to hide, but it's the idea of it. And now we got that there, so it helps hide that. But this tree got pruned kind of late. And so we didn't, I mean, I kind of did still heavy prune it, but it still needs a lot more work. But this is the apple that has apples that big. This is the same as the front apple tree. So there you got it. That's what I do around the farm on my time off, I guess we'll put it that way. I spent Father's Day here. Uh, Crash is just totally happy. He loves me. And so he's got someone to be with him 24 hours a day compared to uh, when the kid has to go to work, he has to put him in his pen and he's stuck out there until my kid comes back home. So like I said, Crash was just totally happy that I was here this time. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Or where is it, over here? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, thanks and uh, we'll see you again soon, I hope.